It's been every bit as interesting as I thought it would be. I did not have enough hands to film it. I knew I needed to put my phone down. <laughs> so, um, you know, he definitely had some zoomies, no big deal, but he did hit the end of the line, I think at least once. Um, and obviously he's moving fast and he's pretty big, so not great. Um, but then he, what's even more than that is he gets so aroused and stimulated when he has that kind of freedom and movement uh, that he then started smashing into my legs. And I think he clawed or bit me <laughs> um, in that moment. Can't really see anything, uh, but it was right there on my leg. Uh, just because he's aroused and stimulated and jacked up. And that's why you can't allow that state of mind. So ob obviously that was a huge correction um, just for smashing into me, never mind whatever else happened there. Probably was his nails. They're a little long right now. Uh, and he tends to put his paws up a lot because he's a boxer. Um, but so not okay. And like, those are the moments, guys. It's like huge, huge, huge consequence for being a complete nutcase and for smashing into me and clawing me and all that stuff. It's like, you just can't be in that state of mind. So even if he didn't smash into me, like he needs to be responsive and in tune, right? So he can be off leash, he can run around, but he needs to listen, he needs to be polite. And like, if there's not accountability for not doing that, if there's not accountability for being a complete nut job, then he will do it because it feels great. <laughs> so, but obviously we got through to him. Um, this is much better. So, and he can go explore. He can even run around and that's fine. But we're not going to do the pulling your shoulder out of the socket and smashing into your legs. Right. And he also tried to approach the people walking the dogs. Obviously that was a no and a correction as well, because I always teach dogs, like you're not gonna run up to other people or dogs um, unless I take you over there. <laughs> so, but this was a moment that needed to happen. So I'm glad it did. And we'll be back at the park again, probably tomorrow. And it'll be a different park that's busier. It's usually busier. So I'm gonna ask him right here. Maverick, down. Taking a sweet time. No, down. Come on. Down. Good. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Good. Down. Good. So I could avoid turning this thing up. And I could just yell, and that might work. And that's what most people do, right? But you don't have to yell. You don't have to get angry, frustrated, nervous, any of that stuff. You let this do the talking for you, and you stay calm and neutral, assertive. And that's it. So I'm gonna have him hold that down for a minute while I walk around. break. Good boy. Nice job. Let's go. Let's go. Crazy pants. Come on. <laughs> See, that's fine. Good boy.